some questions using Gunza past paper questions and then all I'm asking is you guys to go through and to ask questions um, using any way you can use to ask questions all right so without wasting much of your time let me quickly uh, go and check up these questions okay right so as i've written there it's written unza exam questions so the first question is differentiate from the first principle so we are using the first principle so when you talk of derivative you find that there are so many rules that you are supposed to know the first rule you have to know is the first principle and then you need to also know the 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 addition and subtraction you also need to know um the chain rule the product rule and also the quotient rule so those rules you need to know them but i'm not going to focus on all those rules but what i'm going to focus on is just uh, the the first principle and i'm not using any questions apart from questions from uh questions from your course so let me just share the video so that uh, some people can also benefit okay so the first question is uh, differentiate from the first principle differentiate from the first principle the first question is f of x is equal to square root x the first question is f of x is equal to square root x okay and then the other one is saying f of x is equal to x squared f of x is equal to x squared so guys uh kindly tell me are you able to get me or not uh who is this tapiwa are you able to get me are you guys able to get me yes we are able to get you yeah don't concentrate on my face i know i'm handsome so you might get disturbed so please don't concentrate much on my face yeah well, it's a known fact all right i'm just sharing the video then now I'll, I'll get back to business okay think people now will follow us so uh differentiate from the first principle the first one is this one the second one is that one and we have the third one which is this one differentiate the function f of x is equal to one over x from the first principle and then i also have the last one which will give us a lot of tasks to do which is differentiate the function f of x is equal to two over x from the first principle so the keyword is the first principle so you don't need to use any rule in your head apart from the first principle you do not need to use any rule that you are thinking of apart from the first principle so yeah so let's get started solution um yeah yeah solution there we have it okay so please please make sure that you 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 follow up the lesson so i'll start with the first one i'll start with the first one which i'm going to solve using the first principle so make sure that you you ask questions where you are not clear and not where you are clear yeah some of you, you might ask questions where you are clear okay let me just scroll down 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 to avoid some problems okay so um the first thing i'm going to write the question f of x is equal to square root x f of x is equal to square root x okay so 
the the next thing you need to know the formula the formula which is just lim h approaches zero is equal to f of x plus h minus f of x over h so this is the formula that we need to know whenever you are using the first principle so you know f of x it is square root x so meaning that where there is x we are going to replace x plus c h for the first expression where there is x we are going to put what x plus c h and then on this one we just have to replace the same f of x we just replace it so no need of worrying about that so let me quickly write that and see what we can do so in this next step i've just uh, replaced where or where there is x i have put um i have put h plus x where there is x from this function i have put h plus x minus f of x which is just square root x over h okay h is always the denominator so from there at this point if you look at these functions you find that this expression you cannot go anywhere it's more like you are stuck you cannot go anywhere it's more like you are stuck so what you are going to do is you are going to rationalize the expression you are going to exp um, rationalize the expression now what are you rationalizing what are you rationalizing so what you are just simply rationalizing it is the numerator what you are rationalizing in this case it is just the numerator so you need to know what to do as a student so when you reach at this point you cannot do anything why are we rationalizing the denominator so you find that if you had to plug zero on h you discover that this function will be undefined so the function will be undefined so to avoid that we are going to rationalize the numerator please get me right there we are going to rationalize the numerator okay so quickly i'm going to write the same expression so how can you rationalize the numerator you just simply look for the conjugate you just simply look for the conjugate so you look for the conjugate of uh, the numerator so the conjugate of the numerator is simply where you put the the plus where there is minus you put a plus where there is minus in that case you'll be able to find the conjugate so meaning the conjugate of square root h plus x minus square root x its conjugate is just the square root h plus x plus square root x get me right there the conjugate of square root h plus x minus square root x is just the uh, square root h plus x plus square root x okay let me get uh, there and show you what i'm just saying so as i've said to rationalize here we are going to multiply the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate we are going to multiply the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate okay so how will this work out so when we just say square root h plus x plus square root x you multiply it by that i do believe most of you uh, know how to find the conjugate okay so this is what you are going to observe so when you multiply the conjugate here when you multiply the conjugate by by when you multiply this expression by its conjugate it's more like you have written now the you have written the what are we saying we have written different of two squares so this is more like different of two squares okay so if you work it out or if you were to work it out 
this is what you are going to have down there okay let's go a bit down so we are just going to multiply uh this numerator by the uh, numerator which is this guy times that guy okay and then you also multiply this guy times the, that guy there okay so far do we have any question do you have any question any question guys before i move on any question i don't want to disadvantage anyone is there any question guys any question oh who is this imagine do you have a question any question are you guys getting me i'm waiting for your reply um, is there any question are you able to get me okay are we all clear yes all right thank you guys okay okay thank you so uh, after doing so you find that uh, we have multiplied the numerator by its conjugate and also the denominator by its conjugate okay so what's next guys you know when you expand this one you're going to have something okay so when we expand there we are going to have this okay this is what we are going to have so we are going to have x plus h minus x x plus h minus x that will be our denominator when you um uh, when you expand this expression on top remember it's just different of two squares so what you can just do is you you square this one and you also square that one but you maintain the minus okay you did this when you were doing um uh, rational numbers basically when you are doing radical numbers rationalization of radical numbers okay so from there guys when you work out the numerator you're going to have something like x plus one so this x and that x they'll subtract when you collect like terms like i taught yesterday when you collect like terms you're going to find that this x and that x they'll go it's more like one minus one so when you subtract there it will be zero so you are just remaining with the h okay so look at this again now so if you look at this h on top and that h on the denominator these two guys can easily cancel okay so this uh, h into h it is one and then h into h it is what t one so that means that t um you, you can easily cancel out okay so when you cancel out like that this is what you are going to have you're going to have um you're going to have something like this so when you cancel out you're going to have something like that okay so um in case you are having challenges with network please don't worry you can ask where you're not clear and you can also follow the the same uh video on our facebook page and you're also going to be able to follow this same lesson on our youtube channel so it's more like we have made a tripod mode of learning whereby you guys can learn from youtube can learn from uh can learn from our facebook page and you can also learn through google meet yeah so that's how i've created the system so don't worry if it's breaking so uh from here we have said uh lim is that so this is what we have so 
once you work out since it is lim okay limit h is approaching zero so where there is h we are going to put zero okay so when we put where there is h we put zero this is what we are going to have okay we are going to have something down there let me write it down so where there is h we put zero because we are looking for the limit where h is approaching zero so where there is h we put zero so when we put zero where there is h we are going to have one over square root zero plus x plus square root x okay so from there simple you work it out you're going to have something like that okay you're going to have one over square root x plus square root x we know when you add zero to anything you're going to have what you have for example let's say you have five apples or five oranges and then i give you zero oranges you still remain with five oranges if you had five oranges i give you zero oranges you remain with five oranges okay so that means that yeah when we say zero plus um zero plus uh, x it is just x okay all right let me quickly work it out so if you look at um, square root x plus square root x is just 2 square root x 2 square root x so this is what we are going to have 2 square root x so this is our answer when we differentiate that expression so that's our answer guys do you have any questions so far any question any question so far those following from Facebook I'm sure you might have some questions yeah that's good our behavior uh, correct at least you are you have answered something okay yes ask on the previous slide okay there we go yes <laughs> which, I can which side oh, no. uh, in the second from the last the sign changed from plus to minus how is that in the square root where it's written which minus is and on the previous one it was h plus h how did this change from plus to minus plus to minus where 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 here let's follow the halo and tell me here the person who is asking here there or there which one? On the third step. The third step. This one? I can see the arrow. Okay. Uh, the third step was written with H approaching 0, H over H open bracket square root H plus H plus C square root H. And then on the fourth one now, it should change square root h minus. So I want to know how the sign changes from plus to minus. I've not changed any sign. I've not changed any sign. I've maintained plus. Maybe you you just can't see, but um, I have not changed any sign. I've maintained my plus. Plus there. Plus there. Plus there plus there plus there the only thing that has changed from this stage to that stage it is a zero because h is approaching zero so i've put zero which is there yeah i'm sure you have gotten the point there have you seen it the girl who has no. No. I have not changed any sign. 
I have not changed any plus or minus. Oh, I have maintained everything I've maintained there. The only thing I've changed it is zero on H because the limit is approaching zero. So I had to put a zero on H, but everything is just the same. All right. Okay. Let's, let us move okay. on. All right. Thank you. I'm sure you have gotten the point. But don't worry. I'll send these solutions uh, in the group once I edit them. Okay. So let's move on or to the next question. Let's move on to the next question. So the next question is f of x is equal to x squared. Wow. This was the easiest question you can ever get at Wunza. So this was very easy. Okay, so x squared um, f of x is equal to x squared um, x squared. Yeah. So the first thing you do is um, we are going to write the formula which I've written there, which is lim f x approaches h minus f of x over h yeah that's the formula guys always put that formula in your mind and always uh, uh write it whenever you are solving okay so uh we have written the formula lim h approaches zero f x plus h minus f of x over h like i explained some things okay so there we are going to replace where there is x we are going to put um, um x plus h where there is x there we are going to put x plus z h and then is squared minus z x z squared okay so that is what we are going to have so you can easily work out that one you can easily work out that one so i'm not going to uh expand for you because i've taught this in class and uh for those who are having challenges please you can inbox me or see me and i'll be able to attend to you so the easiest way you can do it you can just say x to the power 2 which is x squared plus 2 times x times h which is 2 h x and then plus h squared yeah so that's what you are going to have on the next expression when we multiply which have just simply written down there so which have just simply written down there so when you expand this one you're going to have x squared plus 2 h x plus h squared minus x squared so this minus x squared is just the same minus x squared which was there which is f of x okay so when you look at this you find that that x squared and negative x squared they'll go right so you're going to remain with 2 h x plus h squared okay so this is what you're going to have down there all right okay i'm sure we can all see what has happened here we have just uh, done uh, the, the the step. So from there, if you look at h, when you put 0 on h, this function will be undefined. This function will be undefined. So to avoid that, we can easily factorize the numerator. We can easily factorize the numerator. Okay. So when we factorize the numerator, we are going to put h outside. So when we put h outside, this is what we are going to have. We are going to have h 2x plus h over h. Okay, this is what we are going to have. h open bracket 2x plus h over h. Okay, so when we have that, what are we going to do? We have this h here, we have this h here, and we also have that h there. We have this h here. We are also having the the h there um can someone help me are you able to to see my my pointer or my mouse 
I don't want to just be saying instead you guys should be able to see what I'm writing are you able to see my Kamaos the one which is pointing here can someone confirm can someone please confirm yes, we can. okay that's good then all right thank you very much so um this h and um that h they are common so you can easily erase that one and you also erase the other one you can easily erase uh this one and you also erase that one okay so when you do that you're going to have something of this kind wow almost done so when you do you do 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 here you're going to find that you're going to remain with 2x plus h you're going to have 2x plus h okay so when you have 2x plus h you now you are saying lim h approaches zero so h is approaching zero meaning where there is h you are going to plug in zero so when you plug in zero there you are going to have uh, your answer as 2x so your answer is just simply 2x ladies and gentlemen do we have any question do we have any question as we go on top do we have any question let me also check from my friends on facebook any question yes where like on top top right so i'm going top top which part of the top top uh, like, like, on the formula on the formula yes, yes. On the formula. all right okay you know the formula the formula is lim h approaches zero f x plus h minus f of x meaning where there is um where there is x in this expression you are going to put x plus h and then for this other side where there is x in this expression you are just going to put x so when you do that we are going to have x plus h squared which is this step x plus h squared minus x squared okay you get that oh have you gotten the point yes. all right so yes. i'm sure you are stuck somewhere here where we expanded this one so when you expand this one you'll find that you can either use binomial theorem to do it as simple as you can or you can say x plus h brackets multiplied by x plus h brackets x plus h brackets multiplied by x plus h okay so when you multiply them you are going to have something like x squared plus 2hx plus h squared h x squared plus 2x h plus x squared but this guy has not been affected it will maintain the way it is so from here you know x squared and negative x squared are like terms so this one and that one they'll cancel okay so when they cancel you're going to have what we are having here so when you say lim h approaches zero when you put zero there it will be undefined so the best way we can do is by factorizing h which we did so h there and h there they cancel so what we are now going to have is 2x plus h so where there is h you put zero so when you put zero where there is h you are going to remain with 2x so your answer is 2x is it clear now uh, yeah. all right you're welcome you can kindly mute your mic all right okay um i'm sure even others if we have a question please make sure that you you ask 
and for those who are following us from facebook you can just simply um uh you can just simply um comment in the comment section okay so let's quickly go on the third one there we go so the third one is uh f of x is equal to one over x f of x is equal to one over x so guys uh those who are who will watch from facebook make sure that you you like and follow our page and in case you want our services you can just simply call us and uh, our tents to you okay all right so we have this guy which is f of x is equal to one over x as i have said the first thing to do is to write the formula the first thing to do is to write the formula so the formula is lim h approaches zero f x plus h and then minus f of x over h okay so from there guys uh, we are going to replace where there is x will replace x plus h which i've done here right so where there is x in this expression don't forget the one on top where there is x you just put x plus h minus that okay so from here when you do its props this expression can be written as that okay because this line here this line here okay this line here this one i'm on this one this line is just standing for division so you can write this expression in that form meaning this expression i've just rewritten it in a different format but same things okay so from there guys what we can do is that you work out what is inside you work them out as if you're working out fractions you work them out as if you're working out fractions okay so when you work out as fraction you find that common denominator it is x multiplied by x plus h do not multiply these guys do not multiply them until at a certain point okay so do not multiply them so if you multiply them you might have some challenges okay so from there when you work out these guys on top you say uh, negative times x it's negative x negative times h it's negative h so we are going to have something like uh like that okay so when we work them out this is what we are going to have on top this is what we are going to have on top okay so on top i'm just working out in this so on top it will be negative h over x plus h brackets times x and then dot you know this h was h so this can easily be written as one over h one over h automatically we are multiplying this expression by that huh? so that means that this h and that h are common so these two guys can go so when they go this is what we are going to have on my next part so my next parts in this case i did not uh, cancel them from this point instead i simply multiplied h times x so that you guys can easily understand what i'm doing so you know that h and that h they'll go as i stated previously so what we are going to have is uh that so this is what we are going to have we're going to have negative one over x plus h brackets times x so from there we are going to work them out that is what we are going to have whereby we multiply x times x it is x squared and then x times h it is h x okay i hope you guys are following and no one has gotten lost but even if you are lost, you still have time to ask me. So from there, when we repress 
h where there is h we put a zero when we put where there is x we put a zero this will be negative one over x squared plus zero okay so if you work it out that will be your answer so in that expression our answer is simply that do you have anyone with a query anyone with a query so far that is our question that is our answer anyone with a question i'm too fast i'm too fast yes all right i was looking at time sorry sorry for being fast so i restart A restart or you just have a certain point where you are not clear just restart all right okay so uh please mute your mic so uh the first thing you're going to do is you write the formula okay so when you write the formula it is f x plus h minus f of x over h so for the first part where there is x in f of x you are going to replace it with the x plus c h so this expression here where there is x if we put x plus h it will become that expression which is 1 over x plus h minus f of x which is just that one so we have put it there then over h from the formula then like i said this expression here can be written in this form which is the simpler form this way so i've written it in that way same thing the numerator is what is in the bracket and the denominator is the one i've written divided by that so from there we add we subtract these two fractions the way we we do uh, the way we do fraction so we look for the common denominator so the common denominator here it is this expression and that expression which i've written x plus h at times x h plus x brackets times x so when you do x plus h into the denominator it will give you x x times one it is x minus when you do x into that it is x plus h so x plus h times one it is x plus h from here i said you multiply minus times x you also multiply minus times h so when you multiply this will be negative x minus h so x minus x it is zero so you are remaining with negative h the denominator i'm doing nothing then for this guy because it is divided by it will change into multiplication so the times here the times here it is just standing for multiplication so since we have that expression we can multiply h times the denominator so this will give us that and then if you look at h on top h down h can e can cancel and that h can also cancel so meaning we are going to have what is it down there so what is down there you can multiply x times x it is x squared x times h it is hx so if you have that what you are going to do now because we are saying lim h approaches zero so meaning where there is h you are going to put zero so when you put zero there you are going to have negative one over x squared plus zero so your expression will be that one and that's the answer have you understood now yes yes, yes. okay so trevor is asking sir how did you come come out to be negative h so we multiplied negative times h we multiplied negative times h at this point we said uh 
negative times x it's negative x negative times h it is negative um it's negative um h yeah negative times h all right okay i hope the other lady has also understood the concept let me quickly go forward so that's our answer okay let me go to the next question which will need a lot of attention from you guys okay please make sure that you pay particular attention to this question okay so this question is having two principles this question is having two principles which have been combined together the first principle which is having it is from um, let me quickly go up yeah let me quickly go up there so this principle this guy is having is for this guy is having for this one and also that one so two principles have been added together to make up uh, this expression okay so whatever you we did to this one is what we are going to do to this one and whatever to, we did to that one is what we are going to do to this one as well so meaning it is having two solid principles which have been combined together by the way the fact is that in most cases these are the basic principles where everything will be rotating so you have this one that one and that one okay so these three principles are used to explain in these examples they are the ones that form the basic principles of most of the questions so sometimes this one and that one can be put together or this one and that one can be put together the same way uh, this question is having the combination of this one and also a combination of that one okay so let me not waste much time trying to um, explain those two principles which I've already explained. So just quickly, quickly, quickly go down. Okay. Unless if we have a question from the previous example, but in the meantime, um, uh, I would love you guys to pay particular attention, please, especially on this question. So, as usual, the first thing, you write the formula. The first thing, you write the formula. Okay. So, yeah. Anyway, don't mind my jersey. I'm a Barcelona fan. Yeah. And today we are playing with Bayern. So, I do believe we are going to win. But Bayern is Bayern sometimes. But I just hope we win since we have good players at the moment so um you write the formula there which is this one i've already explained it so meaning the next step we are just going to replace if you look at how big this expression has become some of you just at this point you get really intimidated you get really intimidated so instead of getting intimidated you need to make sure that you know what to do so you have 2 over square root 3 uh, h plus x minus 1 and then there you have 3x minus 1 do, do i have anyone who is having a challenge on how i've come up with these guys anyone anyone Andrew, do you have a question? Andrew, do you have a question? Andrew, Andrew, Andrea. Andrew, okay, Pauline, are you behind anywhere on these guys? No, no. Oh. Um, can you sign the repeat? Where? How I've repressed? Yes. 
So what I've done for the first expression, where there is x, if you look, x is there, right? So where there is x, I have put h plus h, x plus h. Where there is x there, from this expression, I have put x plus c, h. Okay, so if you can observe from there, this is what I've done. So where there is this guy, there was x. So I've just put h plus x. And then minus c, 1. 2 has been maintained. And then this is f of x. I've just written the same thing. Over h. Is that okay now? Is that? Yes, it's okay. All right, thank you. So from here, guys, we can simply work out these guys, okay? We can relate it in the simple terms which I gave using those guys, okay? So this is what where we are going to be. We're going to be there like this, okay? Um, I think I've written the same things. I think I've written the same things. So let me go on the next step think I had written the same things, okay? So, from here, guys, we have 2 over 3h plus x minus 1, and then that one. So, you can relate it in this form. I've rewritten this one in that form, the same way I did with the other guy, okay? So, from there, we can have that, guys. Uh, we can find the common denominator at this step. <laughs> uh, this way kids it's rough rough huh? it's very rough rough something like that because you find that these expressions are big but do not be intimidated with such questions okay so let me just get my myself somewhere 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 okay or oh, I just reduce my size so that at least my crushes can stop crushing on me. Okay, right. I think I can be there. Okay. Yeah. I think I can be there somewhere there. So, um, I've done so because I want this guy to be visible. So this guy has um, come down there. And then for this expression, we have found the common denominator. Okay, guys? So we have found the common denominator. So the common denominator here is this whole expression and that expression you multiply them this is what i've done i'm sure no one has a question on that point then what we do we'll say this guy into that denominator it is that denominator so that denominator times two it is what i've written here then minus that two there which is this one and then this expression into that expression, it is this expression. So this times 2, it is that. That's what I've written there. So I'm going to move step by step and I'll be getting responses from you guys. So have you understood this part? Have you understood this part? Okay. Are we able to get me? Yes, sir. I can get you, sir. All right. Thank you. Okay. Um, the next step is you just... <laughs> I love this question. So the next question, you're going to look at this one. So some of you, you would want to start multiplying that by that. You would not go anywhere. At this point, you can't go anywhere. You are stuck. Yeah, you are stuck. You can't go anywhere. And so long this H is dividing, so long this H here, it is dividing, it means that at this point again, you cannot put zero on H. So what are you supposed to do? That's the question. So you need to conjugate. You need to conjugate the numerator Remember what I did for the other part. So some of you might be tempted to conjugate the denominator. That means that you are making your, your solution longer. You are making your solutions longer. So what you need to do now at this point, you just need to uh, conjugate the, 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 
the numerator okay so when you conjugate the numerator you are going to have uh, something like that okay i just hope i wrote the points okay that's a very very big guy there it's a very very big guy there okay so um let me put that guy somewhere else i think he's now disturbing yeah he's now disturbing the guy yeah okay um there we go a big expression for imagine who is copying the work okay so um we are now conjugating the numerator that means that where there is um plus there we are go where there is minus we are going to put plus where there is minus we are going to put plus okay so the conjugate of this guy it is this whole expression here the conjugate of that guy it is this whole expression there which is 2 square root 3x minus 1 and then plus 2 square root 3 h plus um h plus x okay that's it ladies and gentlemen so the next step is just to to expand you multiply these guys times those guys okay so you know like we did this guy and that guy they're different of two squares so you're just going to square this part so when you square this part it will be 4 open bracket 3x minus 1 when you square that one it will be 4 open bracket 3x minus 1 and then minus you say 4 square root um 4 open bracket 3 open bracket h plus x minus 1 when you conjugate uh when you when you multiply the whole expression here to give you what i've said let's go now down all right let me just write that down there so that someone can easily uh get what i'm saying okay so this is what i've said by the word of mouth so when you multiply this guy here the the, the numerator you multiply it with its conjugate this is what you are going to have this whole expression that's what you are going to have okay so i have this is 55 yeah so i'm supposed to be with you for less than an hour so from here guys when you multiply this whole expression and that whole expression you're going to have what is on top there so it's just the difference of two squares and i've already explained the denominator is where my concern is again so the denominator you're going to say this expression which is one when you multiply it with that one here alone okay because there there is a plus this whole expression when you multiply it with this whole thing alone it's going to give you two because this one and that one they are the same they are just going to be 3x minus 1 okay so this is what we had 2 3x minus 1 and then this thing will maintain the way it is because it's alone and we cannot multiply it any further then this guy this guy here you multiply it with that again it's going to give you two and then because this one it is not affected with that you're going to have uh you're going to have this one alone this one it will maintain and then this one will come back the way it has come back from there okay so that means that we are going to have something like that okay so from there you can expand on top you can expand on top think the work wasn't all typed from there okay so let me just quickly go back to where i was okay so we are here ladies and gentlemen we are here so let's quickly expand the numerator let's quickly expand the numerator so how can we expand the numerator okay 
solve let me just quickly solve so i might be slow because this time around i have to be typing so when you say four times uh four times a uh, four times three x it will automatically be it will automatically be 12 x and then four times that it will be four so on top there we're going to have something like uh 12 x we're going to have something like 12 x minus uh 12 x 12 x um minus 4 12 x minus 4 like that and then you have this guy this guy is inside here this guy is inside there so this will give you uh something like 3h plus 3x 3h plus 3x okay so that one it will be 3h uh 3h let me write it properly 3h plus uh 3x 3h plus 3x okay that's what you are going to have on top there if you work out that denominator you say that uh this times that it is 12x minus 4 and then you say this times that it is negative 4 and then you say 3 times h is 3h and you say 3 times this is 3x uh, like that so after doing that i'll go on the next step ladies and gentlemen as i've said i might be slow a bit but that doesn't mean that we should lose our concentration so this is the point where we are so at this point i just need to multiply four times everything there i just need to multiply four times everything there so when i multiply four times everything it's going to give me what I'm about to write. It's going to give me what I'm about to write. So it's going to give me uh, 12 H, 12 H um, minus, again, because there is a minus there, minus 12 X, 12 X, and then it will be plus four, plus four, okay so it will be plus four there all right so this is how the the numerator will change guys this is how the numerator will change i hope there are no questions so far and if there are any questions please you can uh either comment for those on facebook and for those who are in class you can just simply um can just simply um can just simply unmute your mic and then you ask me the question uh, so from there uh coming so from there what you are going to do is uh you just work out that so you find that when you when you work out this guy when you work out this guy you're going to discover that 12 and negative 12 x they'll go and then this negative 4 and 4 they also go meaning you are remaining with the negative 12 h that's what you are remaining there with on top so yeah that's what you have as your numerator that's what you have as your numerator that's what you have then at this point we can now change this h there we can now change the h which is on top so I'll just quickly go up and borrow something from this expression. I'll just borrow something from that expression so that I be a bit faster. Okay. So um, as I've said, uh, division changes to multiplication. So in this case, this will be, oh my God. So in this case, this will be... Uh, this will be changed to multiplication so you have dot symbolizing multiplication i hope that has been understood by someone and then we we have that one as we have it like that okay 
I know someone has gotten lost along the way, but just follow up the, the video, especially at this point. Follow up the video if you want. You can replay it as many times, especially on these parts. Uh, are you guys able to get me? Because I might be talking alone and this guy has cut. Are you guys able to get me? Can someone confirm? Yes. All right. Thank you. So from here, guys, will you see this edge there, right? That edge. Let me relight this guy so that you guys will be able to, to see what I'm writing. So, yep. Makosi. So this edge, this edge there, this edge here and that edge they will cancel okay so when they cancel automatically you know that this part will go automatically you know that this part will go okay so let me just quickly uh do the needful thing so this part will go and that uh, that guy there will also go okay so this is the expression we are going to remain with okay that is the expression we are going to <coughs> remain with excuse so we have remained with that we have remained with the, that so at this point it's very easy to work out because you only have an edge down there okay you only have an edge down there okay so at this point it's very easy for you to work out okay it's very easy for you to work out so let me quickly work out this guy so what we are going to do is we are going to repress where there is h we are going to put zero where there is x we are go where there is h sorry we are going to put zero but immediately you replace h with is zero you need to make sure that the limits there the limit uh, thingy has disappeared okay so where there is h i'll put zero okay again where there is another edge there i'll put zero okay all right there we go so we have put uh where there is h we have put zero so what will happen is this what will happen is this okay i hope you guys are following like i said this uh, question is a bit um involving but it's easy to do it okay so we have a uh, replace where there is h we have replaced zero that means that three times zero it is zero right three times zero it is zero so this expression will change to uh 3x okay this expression will change to 3x minus one because three times x <coughs> it is three x so and then when you say three times zero it is zero so this one will not be affected then these guys here they'll also change these guys here they'll also change we are going to have uh 6x 6x um 6x minus 2 okay so we are going to have 6x minus 2 so let me quickly write that props so we have 6x minus 2 6x minus 2 okay that's our expression there out there all right so if we want we can put the brackets because we are multiplying these guys so i'm going to put the brackets to help someone out there who is somehow somehow confusing the way i've expressed it so from here this times that it is zero so this other side it will just be um uh, 3x minus 1 okay so this side it will be 3x minus 1 of which this guy as i've said we are also multiplying it we are also um multiplying that side okay all right so this is what we have ladies and gentlemen that is what we simply have so if you look at these guys 
if you look at these guys okay if you look at these guys you find that um if you want you can factorize them okay <laughs> i love this question i love this question i love this question so if you want you can uh factorize a two there okay so this guy this guy here can be factorized okay so i'm going to factorize this one here i think um uh, the reason why i'm using black throughout because someone commented and said uh dog can you kindly use black throughout because they are not able to see so um ladies and gentlemen this red one can be factorized so for that girl please i'm really sorry for me using red at this point because i have no option but to highlight what i'm uh, explaining so the guy in red will need to be factorized the guy in red will need to be factorized so the common thing here it is just two so you can write two out there and then this will be three x three x and then this guy will be one this guy will be one okay wow so if you look very properly very nicely this guy can also be rearranged this guy can also be rearranged so this is the reason why this question i said it is a tricky tricky beautiful question that you need to have some focus and applying some skills okay so if you look at this guy and that guy the one on the same yeah the one on the same or if i want i can rearrange this expression to okay i don't want to mess up there so this can also be rearranged like that so let me put it like that and then i can say um okay let me just quickly i don't want to put people in trouble in terms of my explanations so this guy can be written as that okay whereby uh this one can be can simply be erased from there okay so if i was also to rearrange this one i can also rearrange it like that mm, only the genius can do this bro so from there uh this guy can also be rearranged like that and then i erase this guy out here like that okay wow so i've just rearranged this expression to help you guys also be able to and know what i'm doing so if you look at this side the one i'm going to highlight again i'm going to highlight it in a different color i want to make sure that this point is made clear so if you look at um uh, the guy in green okay sorry to that girl i'm really sorry i really need to highlight so if you look at the guy in green and the guy in black they're one on the same right they're one on the same so you can easily add them you can easily add them okay so if you add this one and that one automatically it will be four what will only change is a four there okay what will change it is a four there okay so this is how the expression will be wow very nice very impressive huh don't give up so from here guys this is what we are going to have so since these guys are like things so we can easily easily add them yeah we can easily add them and then this guy is the only one who is going to change to be four okay that's the only guy who is going to change to before now uh, if you look at this guy this one and that one it's divisible right so since it's visible 4 into 4 it is simply 1 and 4 into 12 it is 3 so there we go we just do the nice nice thing beautifully and handsomely done so from there guys um
because we have divide there so meaning this will be three this will be three and that one will go away like that yeah i think we are done and this is our answer so ladies and gentlemen do you have any question i know questions have to be there from those who are with me uh, in class is it clear is it clear yes you are very clear sir. all right uh, that's very good since you guys have said it's clear and for those who are following us from facebook uh please if you have questions and you are not a registered member make sure that you register with us you can simply contact me on uh, those numbers yeah that number or the numbers that pop up on the group so guys i think we are done for today thank you for joining me